today we're going to tie the LaFontaine buzz ball right here. It's going to be tied on any standard dry fly hook. Definitely one of the most popular flies for us here in the summer on the Missouri River because it covers so many different insects, primarily dead bugs, our caddis and our PMDs. Using ADOT Unithread Rusty Brown on a standard dry fly hook. Today we're tying a 16, but you could use a 12 to a 20. I'm going to start with a couple hackles here, an orange and a light done. Tie those in off the bend. Our third product is Grizzly Hackle. And the first two hackles I tied on, it doesn't matter really what size they are because I'm going to clip those but the grizzly needs to be one and a half times gap length. Wrap the thread forward. Here we go, I'm gonna palmer three and a half to four turns of the orange and done. Tie that off. Keep in mind that this fly never needs to be too pretty. It's just a fancy version of a Griffiths gnat. I'm gonna clip those in the round, meaning Oh, about gap length, but here again, it can be too fancy. Now we're going to finish by palmering the grizzly. Three to four wraps of that again. Tie that off. Finish with a whip finish here. Even if fibers are sticking up off the front of this, it really doesn't make too much difference because this is a really, truly ugly fly. The last step in the little Fontaine buzz ball is I'm going to clip the top and bottom again to gap length. Not the sides, but just the top and the bottom. That creates feelers. So there's a little Fontaine buzz ball. Very, very popular fly in the Missouri.